Right, Jen, thanks. Tonight, clinical trials are now underway at Roswell Park for a vaccine targeting a form of brain cancer that currently has no cure. It's called Cervaxim, and it currently is in phase 2B of testing. Meaning it's just one step away from registrational studies for FDA approval. Two on your side's Andy Payton spoke with the creator and a patient who's getting the gift of more time. I think life is a really precious gift. Um, I enjoy life. I want to li keep living life. Buffalo has been the only community that Tracy Cashman has ever known, but little did she know it would be <laughs> that community that would give her a chance. When we were kids, Roswell was a scary place. Um, so when I first went to Roswell, I was, I didn't really know what to expect. In the winter of 2021, Cashman started to notice something was off. I started having difficulty in like dropping things or whatever and I went to my general practitioner in early January um, and within a day I was at Buffalo General. Her doctors knew immediately what it was, the deadliest form of brain cancer called glioblastoma with an average lifespan of just 12 to 18 months after diagnosis. He said, but Right here at Roswell, we're doing this uh, new study to um, try to promote a different kind of treatment. Kassman immediately enrolled in a clinical trial for a new vaccine created at Roswell Park called Cervax M, which aims to extend the life expectancy for glioblastoma patients. And is there any mm -hmm. fear to, to jump in and do that? Or? Oh, no. Like, what did I have to lose? I think I said something like, I'd eat dirt if it would, <laughs> you know, if it would help me. Cervax M is an experimental vaccine that targets the proteins in tumors called Survivin. The idea is that you get rid of the protein, you get rid of the cancer. The most recent round of trials saw patients double their life expectancy to on average 26 months after diagnosis. How significant are the results so far in this trial? So. The treatment for glioblastoma has not changed in about 20 years. The last approved drug for glioblastoma was in 2005, and that's what got us to the point of 15 to 16 months survival. So this is a milestone in terms of breaking through that wall and potentially getting closer to a cure. Dr. Shishelsky's hope is that once approved, Cervax M could soon be used to target other cancers, as the vaccine's targeted protein is present in almost 90% of other forms. We're making incremental steps um, any time that a patient gets is really valuable time. It's more birthdays, it's more grandchildren. It's more time for Casman, who now a year into treatment, says she's thankful to spend more time with the community that's always been home. Oh, it's, it's the world, it's everything. Uh, <clears throat> life is about connection, I think. And so the more connection that we can have, the better our life is. Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.